Kaplan, uh, Kaplan Intel. Yeah, because I asked the question. You bought up Mortarshoff steel plants, right? From yes. Service Stop. We bought one of them. So wouldn't you want to make a acquisition later on if you have uh, opportunities abroad? Well, I mean, we'll look at no matter what. I mean, you don't just focus when you're looking at acquisitions or anything else based on today. Yeah. You're looking on the future. And yeah. So anything we look at, you know, we're always looking at what's the market, what's the business. Sure. Yeah. But the lack of diversity on an international scale, that puts you at risk five years next. You know, ultimately when you're making any investment, whether it's domestic or foreign, are you going to get a return? Yeah. No. That's ultimately the goal that we look at. We are domestic-based. Uh, the bulk of our sales are here in North America. So less than 10% of our sales are overseas. Uh, so we do ship product overseas today. So we have access to markets and the customers over there, but we don't have any operations. At this you don't have any operations? Because you got OPEC, you got $60 billion for um, acquisitions in uh, the f Central Europe, Eastern Europe. I mean, U.S. Steel was one of the first major acquisitions by a foreign steel group in the, in Eastern Europe. And, all, you know, and you have all these opportunities that are opening up in this new, you know, new paradigm of the, of the moment. So being completely U.S. focused, that sort of puts you at a risk factor. And, and I would put it as NAF. North America focused versus just U.S.? Yeah, but then you don't have Asia and you don't have Europe. Yeah. Okay. All right, and my, and my question on U.S. Steel, you don't fear that people like the EU or others will take retaliations against U.S. Steel groups abroad? I mean, they've been able to buy up American Steel groups, foreign operators, but American operations like yourself or Nucor will make, could be penalized from going abroad and making yeah, a global we'll see. Form. I mean, there's a lot of um, things that have been going on in the uh, M&A front over in Europe. Yeah. So... I mean, you got British Steel for sale, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Any interest in that? Uh, okay. They went under for a reason, I guess. Okay, yeah. thanks. Mean Steel, you know, certainly, uh, we might have the attention of the tariffs. It's, it's really not to penalize anyone. It's to make sure that there's a level playing field. So in evaluating whether or not we would ever go overseas, it would be a function of taking a look at just how competitive we could be knowing that we would have to compete on a fair and balanced uh, level playing field. So it would have some impact on my, my personally speaking, it would have some impact on my decisions to invest overseas. But at the end of the day, if you have an operation, whether it's overseas in Europe or anywhere else, as, as you mentioned with U.S. Steel, if you believe that you have a cost structure that can compete globally in a level, and on a level playing field, you can go ahead and make those investments.